December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve. It is already like 2, 2.30. I'm still in my pajamas. I've been knitting all morning. And as you will have seen at the very beginning of the video, we woke up to a little tiny bit of snow today. Uh, so that was exciting. I knew we were getting a little something, uh, but I, well, they said we were, I wasn't counting on it. And it has been frigid. The high for today is about 14. I think the low is three or something like that. It's been really cold. So we have just stayed in our pajamas and just relaxed all morning. And now the kids are down for a nap and I need to finally get ready. <laughs> we have um, our church service tonight, which I have to drop John off at 530 and then I'll bring the kids home, I guess. Seems kind of redundant. Uh, maybe eat a couple, a couple bites of supper and head back out. And my mom is going and after the church service, we're just going to swap cars and she's going to take all of my kids with her to her house to have a sleepover. <laughs> There's the baby. Bless you. Bless you. And yeah, they're going to have a sleepover and then Tomorrow morning, we're going over there to celebrate Christmas with my mom's family. So then we'll pick up our kids from there. So yeah, and I'm hoping I can wrap some presents tonight because I have not wrapped a single gift and there's a lot to do. So I really need to get a move on that. This lighting is not doing me any favors with the under eye bags. Let me if I shut that, hmm, whatever. This is what I look like. <laughs> I stayed up till like 12.30 last night, finishing my Christmas sweater, which is done. So I'm gonna show it to you. And oh my gosh, it took me like 45 minutes to work on this one little section, which I will show you because I really messed it up. And it kind of bums me out, but it'll be fine. So, Christmas sweater is complete. Oh, it's so pretty. I have not blocked it yet because uh, I want to do like a proper full blocking, like soak it. I really want to stretch it to its maximum because I want it to be like a big baggy sweater. And I used all my yarn, like this is what's left. So I could not have made it any bigger, <laughs> even if I wanted to. But it's a really good size as is, but I know that if I can just stretch it just a little and especially the sleeves there's so much lace that I really want to expand that so you can see the detail but I want to wear it tonight to church so I'm gonna wear it as is and then tonight I will block it and maybe it'll be dry <laughs> to wear again on Sunday for Christmas we'll see so anyways yeah here she is beautiful raglan detail and then the sleeves oh my gosh the sleeves are so beautiful there are two options for the sleeves. There is a bigger balloon sleeve and then a not so big. And I went with the not so big because I know whenever I block it, it's gonna be, I mean, it's still gonna be balloony. Beautiful, beautiful detail. And then the thing I really like about this sweater is you don't go down in needle size for the hem or for the bottom ribbing of the body. So you get a straight fit, which is what I, like in a longer sweater so you got all the ribbing down there and this was a tubular bind off and oh my gosh i've done tubular cast ons before but i've never done a bind off <sighs> my arm was so tired because you know you have to have like the longest tail ever and so every stitch i was like having to pull all this yarn and i told my husband my shoulder is going to be sore tomorrow <laughs> but it was worth it because it looks so cool Tubular bind off is just really neat. I mean, it just kind of rolls in. And I had to do a whole extra row of the ribbing before I could start the bind off to rearrange my stitches because tubular bind off, from what I could find, works best with a one by one rib. So I had to rearrange my stitches because it's a two by two rib to make the tubular bind off work. So that was fun. And then when I was weaving in the ends, I have a spot right on the front left, which you might not be able to see. It's right here. 
that first of all, I should have switched yarn like over here somewhere less conspicuous, <laughs> but I just wasn't paying attention and I did it here. And so anyways, when I went to weave in the stitches, I wove them in and something was really wonky. So I undid what I did, but I accidentally unwove a stitch or two somehow on the back on the wrong side. And I could not for the life of me figure out how to intertwine these yarns to make it work. Like if it was just a knit stitch that was dropped, I know how to, you know, climb the ladder, do all that. But just having a piece of yarn like that has an end sticking out, I was like, what do I, what do, I do? So I just messed around until it looked right for a long time. And I still have, I mean, where did it go? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so you can see they're still looking really wonky. Now I did use my darning needle to like pull up some of these legs because some of them are just smaller. Like all the legs are there in the right place. They're just, some are tight and some are not tight and I can loosen them with my darning needle but then they just go back. So I'm hoping that blocking will straighten that out. Of course, in the grand scheme of things, it's not, well, maybe it is. <laughs> kind of noticeable. My husband says it's not noticeable when I put it on, so that's good. But yeah, I am excited to wear this tonight. Should be nice and warm. I'll probably wear a long sleeve shirt under it just because it is so cold. And I'm sure tonight it's going to be even colder. But yeah, I finished it in time and I'm so happy. I think that's the fastest sweater I've ever knit. I started it in November, like November 13th, I think, or something like that. So yeah. Really fun sweater. And this is, of course, this is Erin weight and it's on US 10 needles, so it's just a fast knit. Now, I also did finish my dad's socks, which you will have seen in the beginning of the video. They're hanging above the fireplace to dry. And then I wound up yarn to start two new projects. Even though I have four, four languishing whips that I really want to work on but I'm just too excited about these to do that yet. <laughs> so I wound up the Christmas yarn that I showed in that glorious gift box and it is just so beautiful. And I, after winding it up, I realized there's even some yellow in there. So I wound that up and I'm gonna make some socks. I'm gonna cast these on here in a little bit. And I thought this pink would make a really cute heel. I don't really wanna do the cuff heel and toe, but I do like to do just the heel. Um, also having that tail on the heel helps uh, close up those little holes you get on the gusset stitches. And there is some pink in this, so I thought that would be really pretty. It's kind of like a sugar plum fairy situation because there's glitter in this. So really excited about that. And then I also wound up this fingering weight and this cloud board that I got from Lovecrafts a couple days or about a week ago, I just bought it because it was on sale. And um, I may have to pause and go put the baby down for a nap. Let me do that. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So my stepdad called me a few weeks ago and I had knit him a beanie last Christmas and he lost it at work. It was really windy one day and I guess he took it off and the wind just like took it. And he was like, I need another one because I love that. And I said, okay, well, let me finish all these things I got going and then I'll start one. So I've been wanting to knit the Muscle Burr hat for a while, which I am still planning on making one for myself. But I knew I wanted this to be a little bit quicker than a fingering weight. So I put these two fingering weights together to make a DK and I cast this on a couple hours ago. And I actually really like the color that it's making. I mean, it's it, they don't necessarily go together. It's like a brown and then a ashy gray and black. But together, it kind of looks nice. I think you'll like it. And what I really like about this pattern is if I run out of yarn towards the end, by the time you get to the end, that end section because it's knit as just a tube and then you take the inside of the tube and you like shove it in the top part so that it's a double layer 
So if I run out, I can just use a different yarn at the end and it's gonna be shoved up inside the inside of the hat. So, voila. <laughs> I think I'll have enough, but just in case. So yeah, I started that and I'm hoping that I can finish that in a couple of weeks because I do have, oh my gosh, I have so many things to knit. After I finish this hat, I wanna knit a hat for myself and one of those beautiful hand dyed yarns that came in my beautiful box from Vicky. And I would need to knit my husband a pair of fingerless mittens because he's been asking for some. And I need to knit my mittens because I need some mittens. <laughs> and I want to start my advent shawl soon and that cardigan that I'm getting yarn for Christmas for. And those colorwork socks that I started last month, I would love to work on those, but these Christmas socks are taking precedent. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on right now. And I get, I get to open an advent today. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> this is box number 11. Oh man. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Okay. This one is Forget Me Not. And this is the beautiful yarn. Oh, you're not going to be able to see how many colors are in this. There's like some baby blue and lavender and there's some pale yellow. This is really pretty. Wow, she does a wonderful job at matching the pictures. I mean, every picture has been spot on. And then also she has included a set of six DPNs, three millimeter. And these are really pretty. They're, they kind of remind me of a peacock. I've never used DPNs, but I am not against trying them. So maybe I will give those a shot one day. Okay, so I need to go get ready. And then I'm gonna start those socks. And I really wanna knit on my Vertices Unite shawl like I'm, I'm looking at it right now and I just I really want to knit that because <laughs> I really want the finished finished object of that but I think it's just gonna have to hold off maybe if I have some extra time today I'll pick that up and knit a couple rows we'll see it's a very big project lots of knitting but I also like I said I really want to start this shawl with my advent yarns because these are just so beautiful and I keep looking at this basket of yarns and imagining the shawl and I'm really looking forward to it. Sorry I keep licking my lips. When I watch these back to edit, it kind of makes me cringe. I'm like, stop licking your lips, but it's so dry and I need to just put on some chapstick, but yeah. Okay, so that's all I've got for now. After I get ready and we start venturing out, I will bring you along and I'll talk to you later. Bye.
church service and it is so cold. Oh my gosh. It's, I mean, it gets cold here in the winter, but not like this. This is a, I feel like this is a record. I don't know, but it's five degrees <laughs> and my hands are numb. So the kids went home with my mom. So it's just John and I tonight. So we got some Chick-fil-A. We're gonna watch a Christmas movie and wrap some gifts because I have not wrapped anything. And he says he's not gonna help me, but he is. He says he doesn't know how to wrap gifts, but I'll just show him. And then he has no excuse. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's what we are going to do and I might vlog tomorrow. I'll see how it goes because we're going to be doing a lot of running around because we're going to my mom's house for Christmas there and then we'll be coming or going to my dad's and my grandpa's in the evening. So I don't know. I might film. We'll see. Uh, he saw a clip of my handsome hubby playing the drums. He did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to watch a Christmas movie and wrap some presents, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.